Hello, this is a video showing how to get S rank for the stage, The Void, in Malicious Rebirth. At the start, gather as much aura as you can. You can get up to max aura if you like, but try to release your aura as soon as possible. The boss's moves are similar to the edge of the abyss stage, flying enemies trying to attack you, the tracking orange exploding ball, and the black orb. If you notice in the Vita version for edge of the abyss, the black orb that used to follow you was taken out unlike in the original. It's just amusing to see it make a comeback here. I have no idea what happens if you get caught by it as I always avoid it. He does have an instant kill move just like before. It's when he has a red beam following you. If you wait too long, he will fire a blast attack that will kill you instantly. You have two choices. You can run up to him and beat his face in to make him stop doing that attack. Or just move out of the way right after he fires a blast attack. It is easy to avoid, so it's up to you with how you want to handle that. The main factors for S rank that may hold you back is the time, the enemies, and the max chain. The max chain has to be over 100. Yes, it is possible to do 100 chain in this stage. Sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes you don't. Once you are ready to approach him, as the prophets mentioned in the previous cutscene, you have to aim for its core, which is the mouth. But you can also attack the lower part of his body. It's easier for me since you have a chance to block or dodge whatever attack he's going to do. Most of the time if you're attacking his mouth, he will bite back. And then there's his swinging long arms, where he does different attacks. He will spin in a circle waving his arms around, or he will pause and throw his arms forward. Now comes the second phase. Gather up aura while you can or continue to release your aura and start attacking him. When he gets close to you, he will try to body slam you or try to smack you with his orange tentacles. Use the whip to get close to him. When you're close to him, he will do a roar that will stun you. Similar to what the boss does in the Forsaken Library, you can block it or dodge it. He will always try to claw at you. Just wait till he stands still after he does that. Then he will try to ram you or stomp you. All easily avoidable as long as you watch what he is doing.
As soon as he floats in the air, use the whip immediately. He will hover around for a while and will try to get away from you. If you made it this far in the game, congrats. You have defeated all five main bosses. What? Did you honestly think the Malicious was the final boss again? Thank you for watching this Malicious Rebirth guide for The Void in Malicious Rebirth. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my gaming channel, Gaming Affection.